Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm pretty sure this is episode 4. Um, firstly, just a huge thank you to all my new subscribers and uh, all previous ones. All the support I'm getting, it's, it's actually crazy. I think I'm nearly at 40 subs uh, now. And to me, like, that's a lot. I know you guys think, like, that's nothing, but... For me, starting with nothing and then nearly 40 subs, like, that, that's so good. Um, we're just over here trying to transfer out of the server. It's the first time I've been able to transfer out in quite a while because the server's been constantly DDoS, so I apologize if this video is out a little bit late. But um, I hope to get some good content. Go find another server, go to some off server raiding. Got a basic kit as usual. Uh, so, yeah, let's run it. So, just over here on a new server, I tamed up a parasol because I didn't want to wait the cryo timer for Mylon um, <coughs> to throw it out. But the server looks kind of dead. I mean, usually if you come to, like, a pop server, you'll see people on rafts and stuff, or, like, just something that shows active bases. Hold on, let me spy the the timers on this. Yeah, see, it's all real old. Um, but we'll see what we can find. I'll go head up the spots, the hidden spots I know, and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can find a decent raid. It'd be nice to find one with turrets. I mean, that's why I've mostly got the C4. Um, but anything for profit, I mean, I'll raid a stone base with the Arthur. So, yeah, we'll go have a look. This might be the, uh, reason why there is a massive alpha. I'm guessing this is a TP, otherwise that's a terrible base. No, yeah, definitely just a TP. Wouldn't be very hard to drop. No, yeah. Um... I thought it was, uh, I thought it might be an alpha server, everything's kind of wiped, so that's not good, but maybe they let some bases slip through the cracks, so I'm going to go have a good look around. Whenever you're scouting for bases, you guys, always check timers on taming traps, see, I can see this was used just, uh, what's that, half an hour, like, two and a half hours ago, um, so I know they're probably going to be built around here somewhere, unless they've just come from a different server, but it is likely that they have something around here. Uh, so I'm going to have a decent look. A lot of people like to uh, build in these trees or hide tames in these trees for some reason. Uh, or behind them, like here. But it doesn't look like they're here, maybe they're uh, somewhere else with the redwood. We're just going to go uh, see if we can track them down. So you've just found this snow owl. Wondering if the guy's DC'd off it, but he's not here. Maybe they hid it in a tree and it came down, but there's no trees above either, that's interesting. Hmm. Unless you got killed by a thyler off it or something. Yeah, we might have a quick look for a bag and then we're gonna kill it. This is taking so long to kill, guys. I forgot how tanky these things are. I think it might be better off using my pike on the ground. Um, so I might do that. But ideally, for stuff like this, you'd want to have flame arrows. Um, fire arrows do so much damage. Yeah, they're very worth it. Oh, I'm hurting my parasol here. I finally killed it, guys. It took so long. And it didn't even have anything. 6.4k health. Oh, uh, oh well, settle I guess. I'm gonna get out of here quite quickly. Um, in case they come back. Hmm, that was a terrible pick. <laughs> um, harvest this. And then I'm gonna leave. As the alphas of the server, or sorry, the uh, guys that are fighting the alphas, I think, are uh, DDoSing it, so now it's 255, and I'm trying to find a drop to get out, but every time I fly anywhere, I just get teleported back. So I hope I'm not stuck here, and I hope I don't get disconnected. Oh, there's a drop right there. I don't know what the timer is, though. Um, it's a very strong DOS. It must be a botnet, I don't know. Um, it's quite annoying, though. And I just DC'd. That, uh, kit... Alright guys, this is my second time trying to load back into the server. Um, first time I got in actually, but uh, disconnected instantly, and all I saw was I was underwater. I happened to be over the river, um, so I'm probably going to drown and lose my kit. Um, the RG might be okay, but um, 
yeah, it's pretty unlikely I'll get my stuff back, which will be pretty pressing. But it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it except go back to home server, rekit, and uh, go to a different server that's not DDoS. It's just unfortunate I had to pick this one. But uh, we'll see what happens. You never know. Could back in. They could lift the DDoS. Yeah. See how good this DDoS is, guys. Got some sharks just sliding across the land. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> kids definitely gone, boys. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe, uh, maybe I'll be able to get the RG back, though. That would be nice. So, the server my other character on is uh, also DDoS, so this is great. Um, uh, yeah. Horizon finally got lifted, there's no more DOS, so uh, I'm over here on Ragnarok. Just found uh, 150 Arthur Pleura, gonna take it back to the, uh, where is it, Highlands Northeast Cave, or Highlands East Cave. Um, drop it in the water so it de and tame it up, you've probably seen it all before, but yeah, that's what I'm planning to do. Just tamed the Arthur and I'm gonna head back to an island server so we can hit a raid now. Okay, so basically the plan is to take this terrible, uh, raid RG to a different server and, um, find a base we can raid for gunpowder. I have no C4 left back of base because I died to that DOS. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to raid for gunpowder and then uh, I've got a raid I want to do on my server. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Okay, guys, so this is the raid we wanted. There's, uh, it's actually Hella, Spark Powder and Charcoal in here that I'm just turning into gunpowder now. Um, as you can see, oh, it's Arthur, man. You really need saddles on Arthur's, otherwise it's just absolute pain in the ass. Um, so yeah, we're going to get a lot of gunpowder out of that. I didn't have to farm, and there's a lot of metal here too, and I've got a weight RG, so I'm going to chuck it all in. So yeah, profitable. I just found something crazy. This has the potential to be so, so good. Um, or it could just be nothing, but... I'm at the bottom of this lake, I just checked down here, and I just threw my Arthur out, because I found a vault. Let me show you. Ah, uh, where is it? Now I'm gonna have to find it again. <laughs> well, that was stupid of me. I'll get back to you guys as soon as I find it again. Alright, uh, yeah, so here's the underwater vault I was talking about. I'm gonna start chomping through it now. Alright boys, here we go, moment of truth. Is there anything in it? Just popped. If there's no bag, I'm gonna be repressed. Oh, there's a bag. Come on, man. What do we got? Wow, that was, uh, that was depression. I was really hoping some cryos for such a hidden vault. Uh. <laughs> Alright boys, anyways. I guess there's some uh, has gloves, some bowls. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Really, nothing important. Take the scope. I'll take the gunpowder. I guess that's alright. Oh, the silk. The silk's actually really good as well. It's not so bad, but uh, for something down way down here, I thought it would be alright. Alright guys, anyways, um, I'm going to head back to base now with all